Hello and welcome to another GCSE Economics video with me, Mr Goff, for MrGoff.com. Today's video will focus on fiscal policy. Fiscal policy refers to all the choices the government makes over the way it earns money and the way it spends it. The taxes that the government raise can be split into two distinct types, direct taxes and indirect taxes. Let's take a look at each of these in a bit more detail. Direct taxes are taxes on income or wealth. Examples of direct taxes include income tax, which you pay on money that you earn, corporations tax, which businesses pay on their profits, and inheritance tax, which you would pay on things that are passed down from a family member when they pass on. Indirect taxes, on the other hand, are taxes on spending. Examples of indirect taxes include VAT, which you pay on purchases, and excise duty, which is levied on things like cigarettes, alcohol, and fuel. This image shows the breakdown of UK government income for the year 2020. You can see that by far the biggest contributors to government income are income tax, VAT, and national insurance contributions. While this makes up a little over half of all UK government income, there is still significant money to be gained from things like corporations tax, excise duties, business rates, council tax, other taxes, and from the government's investment income. By far the biggest area of spending for the UK government is social protection. This refers to the money spent on our system of welfare payments, such as those payments to the unemployed, pensioners and the long-term ill. Health and education are the next two biggest areas of UK government spending, which is why government policies in these areas tend to attract so much attention. Other key areas of spending for the UK government include defence, which funds our military services, transport, which looks after the infrastructure of roads, and things like public order and safety, which include the police service and fire services. You may have noticed at the top, debt interest at 56 billion pounds. The longer we have a deficit budget, the higher our overall debt will be, and the more debt interest we're going to have to pay in the future. That brings us to the end of this introductory look at fiscal policy. Join me again in the next video when we'll be looking at the government budget. Try the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics, and until next time, it's bye for now.